The Properties of Alpha, Beta and Gamma Radiation by kscience.com So what I'm drawing here is the nucleus of a very large, unstable, radioactive isotope. It's the nucleus of a very large, unstable, radioactive isotope. Let's now look at the different properties of the three types of radiation, alpha particles, beta particles and gamma rays. We're firstly going to look at the ionizing power of each of the three different types of radiation. Before we do that, let's remember what ionization is. Ionization in the terms of radiation is when radiation can knock electrons out of atoms to make the atoms an ion. So gamma rays are ionizing. Gamma rays are ionizing, but they are the least ionizing of the three types of radiation. So their ability to knock electrons out of atoms is less than beta particles and alpha particles. So remember, gamma rays are the least ionizing. However, beta particles have a high ionizing power. That means they're going to knock electrons out of atoms more than gamma rays do. So beta particles, the fast moving electron, when it hits an atom, it has the ability to knock electrons out of the atom, forming ions. Beta particles have a high ionizing power. So remember, gamma rays are the least ionizing. The radiation with the highest ionizing power is the alpha particle. The alpha particle has the highest ionizing power. It is radiation that can knock electrons out of atoms more than the gamma rays can or the beta particles can. So remember, alpha particles have the highest ionizing power. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Now what we're going to look at is the range in air. So how far they can travel in air. Alpha particles only travel a few centimetres in air. They do not travel very far at all. Air will stop them. Alpha particles only travel a few centimetres in air. A few centimetres of air will stop them. So beta particles, the fast moving electrons. They can travel up to one meter in air. They can travel up to one meter in air. So they travel much further than alpha particles do. However, one meter is still not very far. Whereas gamma rays have a near unlimited range in air. They will travel a very long distance before the energy is dissipated. Whereas gamma rays have a near unlimited range in air. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Let's now compare the penetrating power of the three types of radiation. What can they penetrate through? So what are the three different types of radiation stopped by? Well, alpha particles are stopped by a few centimetres of air. However, if you were to place a piece of paper directly above an alpha source, the alpha particles will not be able to go through the paper. They will be stopped by the paper. Beta particles are stopped after about a metre of air. However, if you place paper over beta particles, the beta particles will go through the paper. However, three millimetres of aluminium is going to stop beta particles. As we stated previously, gamma rays have a near unlimited range. However, if you place a block of lead in front of the gamma rays, it will take about a meter of lead before you start noticing gamma rays reducing in radiation. And if you're going to use concrete, you need many meters of concrete. Several meters strongly reduces the gamma rays.
It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Press pause to practice using those key words. The answers will follow. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. And if you're stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Visit kscience.com for more free videos, worksheets, and quizzes at kscience.com. And don't forget to like and subscribe.